Thank you. That was a very moving film. Thank you. Um, a question, if you could answer it, because I think when someone t talks about epilepsy, you kind of think of what's called grand mal seizures. And what percent, if you know, if, if it's relevant, what percentage of epileptics have grand mal seizure versus a lighter form of a seizure? I actually don't know, but I have someone here who does probably. Right? <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, or I can repeat it. Um, um, I'm Annie Reyes. I am a neuropsychologist working at the UCSC Epilepsy Center. I've been working with patients with epilepsy for over 10 years. Um, so that's a really great question because the public only knows through film, um, through TV, the grand mal, so the convulsions, which is when someone's body is kind of moving. Um, and that's typically what the public's perception of seizures are. However, um, there is a more common form, form of seizure, which is what we call a uh, focal seizure, either with impaired awareness or without impaired awareness. And usually these seizures look like when people are just kind of losing consciousness or they kind of lose attention. Uh, you don't see any kind of convulsions, you don't see any movements of the body, and those are more common. Um, and oftentimes people uh, do not know that someone's having one of those seizures. Um, so you're correct, um, convulsions are common. However, this is what we call the complex partial or the kind of focal seizures are more common and those are um, less likely for someone in the public to actually be aware that they're happening. I believe there are something like 40 different kinds. Yeah. When I heard about today's speaker and his connection to epilepsy, I couldn't think of a better person than Annie Reyes, who we heard from already, to give us today's 30-second parting message and then ring the bell to adjourn the 21st meeting of our 113th year. Born and raised in the Dominican Republic, Annie came to Washington Heights in New York City at the age of 10. Today, she is our daughter in love, married to our son, Michael, and the mother of our seventh grandchild, Cairo, who will be one in two weeks. And let me add, she has a PhD in neuropsychology from UCSD. Please welcome Dr. Annie Reyes. All right, and thank you for the invite. I just want to make this really uh, quick and just really kind of focused on what we'd be talking about, which is stigma related to epilepsy. Um, so just to kind of put things into perspective, there's 50 million people in the world with epilepsy. Epilepsy affects individuals from low to um, middle income countries more. There's a higher prevalence of epilepsy among communities of color as well as communities from lower socioeconomic status. Importantly, individuals with epilepsy, as we heard earlier, have um, lower income, lower education, as well as lower occupation. They're less likely to be married, less likely to have friends and family in a network. And all this creates isolation and social stigma. One of the best things that we could do is if we know people with epilepsy, is to befriend them and to create a network of support. A lot of these individuals don't drive. So for example, living here in San Diego, that makes it very difficult to get a job, to actually move around. I come from New York City where driving is not necessary, but here in San Diego, it is, right? So something as simple as being able to drive when you have active seizures prevents these individuals from actually having a normal life. So one of the things that we really need to focus is in creating awareness of epilepsy and through the Epilepsy Foundation, but also donating. Donating for research, not just in terms of medications, but also in terms of creating community um, programs for individuals living with epilepsy, scholarships for students who are living with epilepsy, as well as for families and parents who may have children with epilepsy and may not actually be able to work to support their kids. So um, this was an amazing film. I can't wait to watch the entire film. Um, and thank you for having me. Thank you.